What's happening guys? Welcome to The Basement. Today we're talking about Death by Neil Gaiman. Stay tuned. So this was a character that was introduced in the pages of Sandman, also by Neil Gaiman. We have the Absolute Edition right here. Let's take a look at it. If you want to support the channel, guys, check out that link right there. Pick up my self-published comics and children's books directly from Amazon, either digitally or paperback. And here we go, kicking it off. This is a sexy book. Look at this nice, thin, see-through cloth paper we have here. Very interesting. Haven't seen anything like it. Also a very nice cloth and leather exterior. This book collects The Sound of Her Wings from Sandman number 8, Facade from Sandman number 20, The High Cost of Living 1 through 3, The Time of Your Life 1 through 3, and some other miscellaneous tales. We have an introduction here by Amanda Palmer. We have the cover here from Sandman number 8. This is the first introduction of the character known as Death. She's pretty much a female gothic grim reaper. She is the Sandman's sister, and if you're a human being and she appears in your life, it pretty much means your time is up. And that is the overall theme of her character. And in this issue here, we have her going to different people in the world and announcing to them that their time is up, um, it's time to die, and... Uh, pretty much taking them away into a different realm. The writing is very dark. It can be depressing at times. It has topics of suicide for some of the earlier story arcs, but overall it is a great book all the way through storytelling and art. If you're familiar with Neil Gaiman, he doesn't stretch too far away from his overall writing style. This issue is pretty interesting. It's called Facade. It's from Sandman number 20. It's about a female shut-in, she has a deformed body, she's in pain and agony, mentally and physically, any way you look at it. Don't want to spoil this one for you, it has great storytelling and artwork, easily one of my favorites. And coming up momentarily, we have the first trade paperback in this series titled The High Cost of Living, art by Chris Bocciallo and Mark Buckingham. Probably my favorite story arc in this book. The main plot is that death relinquishes her power and takes on human form once a century to remain grounded and in touch with humanity. And in order for her to not forget how precious life can be, there's also a suicidal teen that she befriends and spends some time with. There is a main character that we see in this volume that is set up for the next volume coming up. Uh, she's an up-and-coming musician. Her name is Foxglove. I don't think the art gets much better than this volume. Next up, we have the trade paperback titled The Time of Your Life. It also collects three issues. The plot is about a female singer, Foxglove, and her rise to fame while on a very important tour for her career. Her lesbian relationship is suffering due to the pressures of her newfound fame. Um, they have a child together. And Death's role in this story is that a promise was made to her regarding one of their lives and some Pretty important decisions that have to be made, you know, regarding someone's survival. I can't tell you any more, unfortunately, without spoiling it. A noticeable art style change that's been taking place in this volume compared to the last. Not liking it as much, but still pretty good. And after that, we have a few miscellaneous stories. We have A Winter's Tale here, which was pretty good. There was only actually one story that I disliked, which was the last story in this book. It was a bit of a departure from the art style and writing that I'm used to seeing. And the last quarter or third of this book, I should say, is character art. Some very nice character art. I'll try to flip through it pretty fast here, let's see. That being said, I would definitely recommend this book if you're a Neil Gaiman fan and haven't read this for some reason. I don't see a reason why you wouldn't enjoy it. Even if you're a fan of Lucifer or Hellblazer or any Vertigo titles for that matter, 
It's a definite must read for you. Only issue I do have about this book is the cost. It's way too expensive for the amount of content that you get, um, even though the quality is quite good. Wait for a sale if you can. I ordered this at 50% off, but then it's still quite expensive. It is a phenomenal looking book, cover to cover though. So until next time guys, make sure to like and subscribe if you have not already. Take care.